Pie old beaver! Away! Hello everybody! Welcome once again to this, the season five spectacular of one of the greatest events known to man, woman, and small child kind. I am, of course, talking about Ready, Steady, Pan! With me today, as I am Agro, I have two people of immense importance and superiority. Yeah. Well, one of them knows what a pan is, the other one doesn't know which end to hold. I'm going to leave it up to your own imagination which one is which. Uh, first of all is Extra Solar. Hello friends, it is indeed that time of year again. It is the Ready City Pan Season 5 Grand Final. And the second of which is Bite Me Aski. Uh, hello. I'm I'm actually not here against my will. I, I, I'm here against oh, their will. Oh, we believe you. We believe you. No, I, yeah, I they're, they're, they're not all make it. Well, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't don't call the police, please. <laughs> don't call the police, please, please. Just don't just call just the like just, just tap your mic with the Morse code with the, 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 like the street that you're at. Show show no no no. Show me on the mic where the uh, where the small pan hit you. <laughs> right on the head, right there, the big bonk. Uh, right. So I think I think actually we've had enough issues holding. That we've actually held these guys back from starting. Uh, so uh, we we'll need to get into it very quickly. Uh, Extra Solar, can you give us a quick rundown of who's, who's going to be playing and, uh, and what they're going to be fighting for? Well, it is in fact a repeat of the Season 4 Grand Final, just of a different team name and a couple of players changed. It is in fact the Silence of the Pans, the reigning two time Ready to the Pan champions against Pans Labyrinth, uh, also known as Odin's team. Uh, currently we have. Indeed, a uh, slightly different roster to each of the teams from last season. In the Race of the Pan, of course, it is a class limit of two for the Soldier, Scout, Pyro, and Demo Man, and class limit one for the Sniper. Everything else is banned because of the tomfoolery happening of those classes. But on the red side, we currently have the Science of the Pans. Um, we're starting up on their first pick, which is still alone as the highest seed. They, of course, have two map picks. Um, the second map is going to be Product, that is Pan's Labyrinth's pick, and the third map, the final pick, is going to be Stallone. So we're starting off on High Pass, and in the red for Science of the Pans, we have the Scouts are going to be Mezzo and Divi, Soldiers are going to be Liko and Jackie Legs, and the Demo Men are Yahoo and Bees. And then for the side of Pan's Labyrinth, I believe that the Scouts are going to be Yellow and Odin, the Soldiers, Hoy, and uh, I can't remember what the other person's name is, he's fake nicking, but that's always fun. Um, I believe it's going to be Gilga playing Soldier, and then the Demo Man will be uh, somebody else. I think it's Auto and whoever the last person is, because they're fake nicking, so, you know, it's always a good sign. Yeah, it always shows uh, competency in the capabilities of the individual when they decide to, to go play anonymous Um Right, I, I think that's that's a very succinct um, uh, pile of information there as we're still waiting for the message to get through that we're going live live. Um, uh, I, I, I think it's time to ask ask you for your opinion, Bright. Who do you reckon is going to be winning this one? Uh hmm. I know of Odin, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to what I know and say Odin's team is gonna win. Well, Odin is a Ready City Pan genius, after all, the leader of the Demonite TF2 clan. Um, yeah, he has a formidable opponent though in the side of Liko playing Soldier for uh, Silence. If I could interrupt this two aid of thought. Uh, it looks like they've launched. They've started. This is this is it beginning. Oh. Is it? Well, th I, I believe it's, oh. uh, it's, it's, it's. It might be a, a full start. I'm not sure if the config has messed no, up. No, it's just me. I've I've lost it. Oh. Well, right, okay, yeah. but that's uh, yeah. that's that's my brain uh, failed. Um, in, th in this full case, uh, <laughs> it was a very early days for it to fail, but right. nonetheless, it was, it board, was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. We, we, uh, we're we're solar, starting again, boys. Back extra from the top. solar. Who is it that we should be looking forward to? To in your mind, uh, winning this round. And this uh, well, match completely. Uh, um, well, if this match, um, I think it's really too close to call. I think Silence might just win it based on map picks because High Pass was a map they did beat um, Odin's team on in the regular season. Um, Odin's team have historically been very strong on product. In fact, 
Um, only one of two maps that Science has ever lost in Razor de Pan. They took the map off them in last Grand Finals. Um, so really, it could be anyone's game here. Um, it's really out to like the individual place. I mean, on the side of uh, Pan's Labyrinth, we have, of course, the eponymous Odin. And I believe Hoy is a bit of a farmer on that pan. But in the side of Silence, uh, we currently have Liko, who I am you know, still of the opinion that Odin and Liko are the two best Razor Pan players in the world. I think Liko is... Uh, he basically just plays Soldier and never dies, strangely. He just gets like a monster KD every game somehow. I'm still <laughs> not sure how he does it, but he, he manages it. And of course, we also have the SDCK-esque trio of Jackie Legs, Mezzo, and Yahoo backing up Liko and his plays there. Um, we have Divi, who is uh, famous for being almost a mute, so that might come into the uh, disadvantage of science in terms of comms. But we are, in fact, going live now in the Season 5 Ready City Pan Grand Finals. That is Pan's Labyrinth versus the Silence of the Pans going to our first mid here. Yeah, it looks like there's a, a lot to be looking forward to in terms of classy plays and classy players, but unlike every other kind of competitive experience you, you might be having or you might be expecting to have, uh, mid isn't just a mad rush. It's 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 hmm. almost it's almost a static push. It's like the players have entered into a, a subversive like a, world where it's, it's just not like a, to move forward to many steps. It's a gentle dance of figure skating around the rink. As we see the first pans coming down, everyone has ditched their guns in favour of the slightly anachronistic melee weapons of the frying pan. Of course, it is one of only two weapons in the format that is allowed to deal damage, the other being the Thermal Thrusters uh, stomp effect. Um, we also have a few jars coming out here. We have scouts using the Mad Milk just to heal themselves up. Uh, the meta has shifted recently, uh, as we see the, uh, the Milk coming into full effect for healing. And we have a bit of a clomp here on the, mid on the middle. As uh, Silence do have better health though, so maybe they can try and take down these soldiers, but the first cap, um, sorry, the second cap has gone in favour of, the, it's very hard to cast this, as I'm sure that you'll agree, there's, yes, there's, just, there's yes, just a bunch of people really hitting is. each other forever. I'd say it's very hard to cast uh, anything, normally, yeah. uh, but, but trying to cast a game that is fulfilled uh, that the, uh, by uh, players entirely engaged in melee, I mean, you sort, you sort of have to wow. try and, like, just break it down and, like, manage your milks. It's, what, it's like the one thing that's easier to play than it is to commentate on, strangely. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think it's strangely uh, beautiful to watch. Oh, it is. It's a, it's a dance of death on the frying pan tournament arena. Oh, I Only love one it. victor can emerge. Oh, that is the best description. I love it. Uh, elegant, yet, oh, somehow bloody. I was trying to compare it to something uh, that happens in nature, Ballet but with there's... knives. Well, not with knives. Knives would be fine. They'd be like a stabbing motion. This is pans. This is brutal. <laughs> this is death. death. Yes. It, it, uh, you, don't, you don't naturally associate being bludgeoned to death with being in any way balletic. So well, in case in case anyone's trying to make sense of the Ready Z Pan format, it's just it's just Team Fortress 2, but with melee, so it's just number advantage. And instead of Uber charges, you have your little uh, Mad Milk grenades. I hear battalions going off there. I believe that is from Lico, representing the TF2 Scamming League of the, of the uh, screenshot services. Wow. He's going to try ah, and get focused yes. down there by Jackie Legs in the end. Uh, Gilgus stuck in back, in back lines here, but I'll silence of a banner. And a man advantage, so surely they're going to be going in. Dibby's already in, actually, on the flank, causing havoc on the point. And here comes a banner, and they're trying to pick off uh, the demo man here in the back lines. He will actually crater in the end. Uh, his we going down right there, and then that banner will just force Pan's Labyrinth straight off of the point, and Silence have recapped. Are you seeing sixes? You see in Highlander? You see in, in most competitive? There, there's always some, there's always some sort of focal focal point for deciding when a team should push or hold or stay. Normally, in, in most competitive, it, it's it's the medic. It's waiting for that Uber or puts being ready and then the action is done off that. Is there, what is the, is it the milk management? Is it the banner management? Oh, it's, what is the thing? It's, it, the pan is literally just standing on the point, uh, having more milks than the enemy team to try and force a 2v1 to bait a milk out from a scout. Because it, it's sort of like, it reminds me of like the early days of Highlander and Sixes when teams didn't quite realise how powerful the scout class was. This sort of happened in Pan as well, in like you saw a lot of teams that used to run like just the one scout and they had a sniper off class. But then 
you know, people sort of realised that, yeah, like, the the Jurati was amazing for getting people down because it means you get uh, one less hit. Actually, his auto is in all sorts of trouble right here. He's getting banned in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Surrounded see, like a pack of hyenas. I see, I'm going to go back to my fork quickly though, like the the sniper means he can kill people in one less hit, except for the scout, he will still take two hits to kill with your frying pan. Whereas the milk, if you get hit once and you hit someone again, that's you're tanking another hit basically, except from a scout. So we're starting to see the format converging more and more around the scout class. You have, you have your demo men who are just going and doing damage, your soldiers are the tanks, or they're flanking around trying to build banners. And then, and as we see another banner coming out of Jackie Legs here, the battalion's on the point. That is also another reason why Sniper isn't played much anymore, because the battalions, of course, negates the Jurati's mini crits. So essentially, wow, you, you're, yeah. like it's just the pan has become just the, the the scout format, and the soldiers are just your like your tanks on the point with that extra health. You don't know, man, jump around trying to get pan hits on people, and then the scout does scout things and flank and stay alive. It's quite a beautiful format, all in all. You Highly mentioned rated. that with the addition of the is it the stomping not the man treads but the the pyro oh, the, the jetpack yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I would have hoped to see or expected to see a few more pyros in this but is it is it a tremendous advantage have you seen um, a lot of classes uh, well, on, on the one player? hand he, he he runs faster than soldier but takes one less pan to kill so in the of battalions and of course that rocket pack stomp you only get two where a soldier gets four. We've actually got a final fight on the point here. It's only yellow and auto alive. So we've got lots in our thoughts here. Our analysis of oh, yeah, this pan absolutely. format. This, uh, the, the, the beautiful game of pan. That will be a full wipe in the end there Whoa. for Pan's Labyrinth. The first round going to the silence of the pans. Uh, with just over a minute to spare on the cap now. So really proving their agility in this map pick. You know, reverting back to, to a, a moment where we probably should have been commentating from the very beginning. They, they seem to be taking uh, control of the point from, from the very offset. It's very difficult to see like who's winning because there are so many oh, deaths. Yes. Uh, but but they, they did have control uh, off and on for apparently longer than required to take the point and and win. It's, it's, you kind of have this like ironic thing obviously because you're confined to melee and jumping weapons in that it's it's very good to play the point and force cap time but it's also very bad because you just get the like the the milk grenade coming out and you all, and then everyone heals off you and you're very very difficult to stay alive and you have to basically be out of the fight else you're just giving them free pan hits on the rest of your team and actually we have a, a 2v2 on the point here jackie legs and yahoo combining there and valve yahoo actually takes down odin in the end uh, representing the Team Fortress 2 developers and uh, a few naughty naughty bots that are running around in our servers right now. Wow. Oh, they're naughty boys. All of them with the, the Valve prefix on them. Mm. Mm. As Hoy is actually going for Divi, but he has a scout speed, so we'll just run away. Bees will attempt to uh, go for him in the end. Uh, apparently, well, let's just like, look, Bees is actually in the back. They're trying to get on the point, but... Again, it's like it's sort of like when there's six people up on both teams, it's just going for those hits and trying not to get hit yourself, just to try and make an advantage. Um, apparently, this is standard cough rules as well, so it is going to be first to three. So whoever you know wins this fight has got a good chance of taking this round. Really, it's bees there going down on the point, defending it. That is actually one good thing you can do. You can like because there is no uber charge in play. You can just trade your life for more time on the point because it doesn't really mean too much if it, if you're in that position in the end. Like, going for trades, and if you're defending the point and getting time, is fine. Actually, Divi is in all sorts of trouble here, he's got Odin on him, and actually he will get panned in the head and then fall directly into the floor and crater from it. Oh. Don't see that one every day. Death by floor is probably one of the more spectacular deaths or you know, you've, mundane. You've heard of headshot rockets? How about headshot pans? Headshot floor? Incredible. I, I want headshots to register with pans, like a thousand percent. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'd be terrible, but I, I, I support this change. You know, it's like having random crits, but you know, I support it's it so long like as you. It's like an ambassador pen. I want it. All right, so mm. long, I'll, I'll accept it so long as you can have like uh, negative effects if you hit them in the feet. Yeah. Feet shots just does half a man. Actually, damage. as we're as we're like talking about Make, this, like your opponent ragdoll. Uh, like, like, look what happened here. Silence had just taken the point. Like, they, they capped it, and then there was an attempt to contest from Pan's Labyrinth, but then Silence just, like, they lost, I think, two people for Pan's Labyrinth's four. And that, that was just it for their push. I mean, one good thing I think Silence are doing is they're focusing down Gilga. So they've, like, at best, um, Pan's Labyrinth have got one banner to work with. I think they're cottoning on to that, actually, is uh, History takes down Leeko behind. I think it was pretty close to his banner as well. 
but we have traded uh, two frags each here. It is currently 4v4. The health is not looking good here for Silence, and the cap has gone down in the favour of uh, Pan's Labyrinth, but that means the respawn ways are coming in faster for Silence. But the scouts are so weak, we just got bees on the point all alone. He will jump away in the end just to try and grip up with his other demo man. Yeah, who's going to try and uh, get the flank on the, demo on the other demo man here for blue, and he's getting <laughs> panned in the face. He's trying to jump away. But the milk has gone down for both teams here. Everyone is currently milked on the point. It's free healing for all. Come one, come all, come everyone, and, you know, use the frying pan, because that's that's, that's the aim of this format. Well, looking at this fight so far, it looks like the uh, Labyrinth have got the point. They've kept a hold of it there. Or rather, won it back, I beg your pardon. Although, once you again, like you said... You might say that it panned out in their favour. I'm just going to stop talking, just uh God damn okay. it. <laughs> Alright. Well, that, that, that could have gone worse, I suppose. And look at this, we currently have 12 players just conglomerating on the control point. Look at this absolute madness in the corner here. Like, how do you even cast this? You just look at the kill feed and see what happens, and look at that. Five down, there's going to be six down now, if Auto... But Auto's hitting with the milk, he takes down two by himself. That's that so, team white, by the way. Yeah, it was a team wipe in the end, but you salvaged the numbers in the end, and they're going to get faster respawns out Science have actually captured this control point. That's a 12 second respawn for bees. With equal timings, that's going to be a chance for looking for um, Pan's average to contest this point. Notice that left round is much more of a tug of tug of war than the last round. It seemed a lot more one-sided. Seems like uh, Odin's team here has definitely pulled it back. Yeah, like that's, they're actually you know, fighting. If you play in the same way and like Pan, it does like not going in your favour in the end as Gilga has gone down on the point again. Jackie Legs is getting that final bit of contesting and actually it will give him an extra 5 seconds on the point and I know the Science are going to come down in time but they've got a full minute to get this back. Jackie Legs actually is choosing to just stay in on the flank and see what he can, you know, cause some chaos here. He has got the bat hat on so... Oh, is that the bat hat or is that like the, the new hat with the with the things on it? Can't even tell. He's jumping around anyway and actually we have Hoy all alone on the point his scouts abandoned him there for a brief moment and suddenly the demo man of bees and Yahoo just came in and just demolished him. As the cap is very nearly down for silence. Yellow is blocking it with his fellow demo man here on the point, but science have the numbers, so the cap is sure inevitable and it will go will go to their favour in the end. And this is just, you know, constant back and forth action with Pat is what you want to see. Oh, someone is shooting a gun! Odin has shot his gun in spawn. It's very naughty, Odin. In in very Sinban. naughty. Naughty boy. Actually, we do have the uh, the recontest coming out here. Auto, say it right. Is uh, I'm not really sure how you can say auto incorrectly unless he wants to be known as Otto. Like, I'm, not, I'm not sure what he wants. You know, but you know, it's, it's, it's always he doesn't fun. know how to pronounce his own name. Obviously, that's well, the well, problem really. here. And, he, and he, he's dead. And look at this—the absolute. That's almost a team wipe again, Dad. Like, oh, the split push from Silence. They did. They did it perfectly. Like ready, steady, pan. If you want one tip, pan. You make a yeah, U shape. Yeah, trying to delay it you, there at the end, but not quite managing. You get six players, you make a U shape, and then you have like a meat grinder of pans. Because obviously, with the way that Valve <laughs> Melee works. Meat grinder of pans. Yeah, because the, like, the way that Valve Melee works is if you hit your teammates um, when they're next to another player, it'll hit the teammates, not the other player, and do zero damage. Mm, so the yeah. U shape is specifically designed in such a mechanical way that you can hit the enemy team while dodging their attacks and not hitting your teammates. And Silence executed that to perfection. As well, well pause due to the config apparently, so uh, we get to see all these players frozen in time. We have, uh, I think, uh, no, Liko and Jackie Legs, yeah, they are, they're wearing like this same hat with the, the megaphones on, I like it. And let me just uh, recuperate what's left of my brain, man. I have no idea what's going on, there's so much mm. pen. Potentially two more maps of this, by the way. I know, oh, so much, so much to look forward to. I mean, one of the things that's very difficult to, to do within Highlander in terms of casting, in terms of viewing it even, is is uh, is keeping track of all the multitude of little fights that are happening all over the map, all at the same time. I think I think the big problem with with Ready Steady Pan is that the fight that's happening is realistically all happening around the central point of 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 the flag. So the the condensed format of continuous fighting all around the same point can be mind-numbingly yeah. complicated to It's even worse it's, when you've got it's a split It's a pub fight. It's a pub no, fight just with no it's guns. Just, it's just, it's yeah. like the group but, keep wait, with on, no damage. What pub fights have you been in that have guns? What on earth? 
You're right, it's all like 12 spies trying to trickstab one another. <laughs> Except there's no backstab hatboxes. Also, it looks like we're back in action. Uh, look at this, the cap is almost in favour of silence. The milks have come out. Purpley plays everyone's ice skating around due to the unpause for a little while, but we'll see what happens here. Everyone's actually dancing Majestic. around the circle of death. Auto is getting panned to death by Mezzo. Comes in at the end, and, uh, and Yellow is very weak. Mezzo with a nice pan at the end there. Mezzo is on a 4k on this mid right now, absolutely demolishing Odin. Who, you know, Odin isn't exactly bad at melee. I'm pretty certain he's, like, renowned I've in... I've seen him in Demo Knight TF2 yeah. comp. Like, damn. Yeah. That, Od like, Odin, Demo Knight TF2. That's quite surprising. Odin Demo Knight TF2 is a force to be reckoned with, and I think he was, like... Like, last season, he was, like, the only person to get, like, 450 DPM on Scout in oh. like, the finals. And that, that, that oh. was interesting. He got, like, 12,000 damage of a frying pan. You know, That's that, I think terrifying. We worked it out. It was, like, something stupid, like... I don't even know how many pan hits that was. Someone worked out in chat, please. It's something, like, some ridiculous number of hits that he managed to get whilst only dying, like, 10 times across a map. Like, Odin really is just one of the melee TF2 gamers, but Silence seems to have his number right now, although he is top scoring. Currently, he's getting 1v2'd by demos and scouts around the place. And I think the, the one, one thing that was really going wrong in the, the early throws of the second round for Silence there was that Odin was just allowed to roam around the map doing all, anything he wanted, basically. But then, uh, apparently the pause happened just here, so it was going back to the action. Of course, it was 90 seconds in the past for us, so currently we're we have... time travellers. You didn't know this, but secret <laughs> so I guess. See, time travelling with a frying pan, you know, that, that's like way, way cooler than a TARDIS. Quite frankly. Hell yes. Step aside, Doctor Who. I'm bringing out the pan. Look, look at this fight. We've got a taunt coming out from Mezzo as well. He's currently on a seven kill streak as a scout class. Dear Lord, that's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Like, so, the, so, when it comes to the pan, uh, what, what, what would you rather, like the faster hit rate of the scout or the uh, beefier hits of, say, soldier or oh, demo? Um, I, I much prefer playing scout. I, I, I had my trick wrong for ages. I was playing like pyro forever, thinking, oh, I can jetpack people, but then I realised that scout is just the strongest class. <laughs> yeah, because, you're able to like you know, pick although, your fights really easily as yeah, well. It's, that's, that's the same thing as the regular game, just even more pronounced because of his movement. Like soldiers can pick when to leave the fight um, if they've got a rocket jumper out, but only if they've got space to move around. Whereas a scout, unless he gets boxed by three people, can just like basically pick what he fights. And if yeah, he, and on top you know, of that, just run circles and around the thing, attacks. It, exactly, you run circles around, and then you can throw a milk at someone before a fight, and then if they hit you once, they have to hit you at least three times to kill you. Whereas, you know, you're swinging your pan so fast, you know, you can kill another scout or a demo man very quickly with that. You know, the only person where it takes longer is a soldier, because of course, battalions now, you will take one more scout hit, but not one more regular melee hit. Because mm, that's, how, that's, that's how maths works in this game, apparently. You know, the, secretly Valve were planning this entire, like, balancing updates around, you know, this is the pinnacle of competitive Team Fortress like, 2 right like, here, ready to be have, have you seen, like, the, like, one of the memes of, like, the woman, like, looking confusedly and having all the numbers, oh, like, yeah. overlaying like she's thinking? That's what Valve is when it comes yeah. to this. Yeah. Just like all the numbers, like, calculating in their head. Yeah, I mean, like, that, that's, that's exactly what we're going on about here. I mean, Ooh, that did Gilga just get cratered there Yeah, Gilga Gil got headshot panned and fell into the floor. Like, right, right, right um, as he was hopping down to try and get the health kit, I think. Of course, was, little, little known fact, um, the higher the maximum health pool of a class, the more fall damage they will take, because fall damage is calculated is as a percentage of your maximum health. Ooh. So if you if you quit the battalion, you take, like, six more fall damage. You know, 4,000... So. Uh, 500 plus hours on this, and I never knew that. Yeah, like you need 11,000 hours, like me. Ah, right, I see. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not quite there yet. I've, I've got yeah. that information early. You need, you need your PhD in Team I'm, Fortress I'm, 2. I'm, I'm getting an advantage here. You're, you're, it's like a yeah. cheat sheet. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's why, like, it's a little known fact that the, the more fall damage a class takes, the more skill that class takes. And that's why Heavy is banned from Ready City Pan. <laughs> We have, uh, well, well, we, we, apparently we've got a game going on right here. You know, we have we have a, a, a mid-fight. The science team trying to recontest this. They're trying their best to get, like, cap time here because they haven't got the numbers to really kill anybody. Liko's just jumping around the map, doing his best to steal the health packs. That's another big thing about Pan. There are a man chasing him. And that's, like, one amazing thing about soldiers. You can just pull people out of position just by existing. Because you're so annoying just jumping around the map. And look, he's opened up the point for his team. And now they're flooding in on force with the milks. A really good milk coming out there from Divi. 
focus down Gilga very quickly there. And there's still more mills happening. Autos milk, but two frags come in for Pan's Labyrinth. Dragon Legs and Yahoo, that's two big health balls. Big chunks of silence taken out right away, but both scouts are still up for silence. And Pan's Labyrinth, and it's going to be a fight between Bees and... Oh, Bees and Divi. Just I winning that I don't know what end. it is, but there's like something really intimidating. Like one of the first person cameras there, I saw two like stock uh, missed soldiers with pans just like, bearing down on you. It's somewhat terrifying. Uh, well, just two of them look, you can't even see their eyes, they're just looking down at you with their pans ready yeah. to swing at you. It's, it honestly is the scariest thing, and apparently that, that will be. Although the, uh, the game hasn't really ended yet because of the config issues. That will, in fact, be the uh, the first map going in favour of the Science of the Pans. A clean 3-0 sweep. That, that was know, beautiful. Like, you know, beautiful we, had some, we, we, we had some comebacks coming in from Pans Labyrinth with their cap time, but in the end, it will be Science eking out that final fight. You know, like, Bees, Divi, and Mezzo are just combining for this big clump. Liko's jumping around the map, just distracting people, and then Yahoo's coming in as support. And maybe Jackie Lace gets in at the end to defend the point. This is like a, a well-oiled pan machine. You know, bringing order to the, the pandemonium going on on this map right now. Oh yeah, I don't know if we're going to have a little look at the logs now. We've just been sent them. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, look at that. Right, These right. are numbers. These are numbers. Yeah. Um, oh, Odin getting focused down this game. He's like I was expecting an Odin top damage. But it's actually yeah, going to be... Not. It's going to be bees. Top fragging, top damaging the server. Twenty-four to eleven, three hundred and forty-seven DPM. Like it's a B, it's really absolute force of nature. Mezzo as match. well, twenty-two and eleven on the scout class. Oh, like, bees and Mezzo have been fragging out today. Like, yeah. I mean that's true, but Odin was definitely holding us. Oh, there was, Odin, there was like... certainly a moment at the end where I think he was he was actually he was he was defending like one versus two when they weren't attacking him. Yeah. He just stood there, just stood there. Come at me, bro. Come at me, and nobody yeah. was. Like there was, there was a, uh, I think I think you really have to know that you've got that fight in mm. hand before you take him on. But he's just one man, uh, despite yeah. what you might have heard. Uh, he's just oh, one man. He might just be one man, but he outfranked everyone bar two people on the side of silence. And like the top franks for his team, apart from Odin, was like the demo man with thirteen. Like I can't even know his, don't know his name. He's actually on on the website. He's called uh, like thirty two dots. So we will yeah, never know his name. He's down as uh, Hisui at the moment. Yeah, well, like, uh, I'm going to one silly. But, uh, uh, yeah, like, but Odin, though, is just an absolute monster on melee. Like, he, he is like he, he is one of those people that you just don't understand how he manages to hit you and still dodge you at the same time. Like, <laughs> he is, like he has, like, studied, like, tick well, by you, tick. Well, the, you by, were by, out the, chatting by, with girls, I was by, studying the pen. Like, like, I think that's honestly what happened. Like, he just has like the like for both the the demo knight weapons and the pan. He just has like these pixel perfect melee hits that you like. I've I've not seen anyone else do with such consistency. Like, he isn't like, like Odin right now is currently keeping his team in the fight. I mean, we saw right now like Gilga just getting hard focused down every time he tried to make any space that game. Gilga actually going two for twenty two in the end on that map. I mean, it's fine having your soldiers dying a lot, but for you know, getting close to bottom damage on the server, alongside his demo man, like, uh, Odin, as he said, Agro, he is only one man. Um, on the high-pass map, it is more difficult for soldiers to do things, because it is so demo-centric. Um, we have to remember is one man in the right place can bring down an empire, so... The right I, man in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's exactly... That, that's a different game was. entirely. And yet here we are finding ourselves in a situation of the one man and in the wrong place. Can we can we please have half pan two? Do you think we can make that mod? Oh yes. Let's, just um, let's, let's like, just know, do it now. When, let's just do yeah, it now. Just to right make now. it right now. Like you know when the combine have their nightsticks, so they knock Gordon Freeman out. Was in the apartments. Just have like twenty frying pan sounds. Oh, no. brilliant! Just no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know what the achievement is going to be for that. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe it's something <laughs> they can add into like Half Life, Alex. Maybe it's uh, maybe that's some sort of thing that only works oh, no, in VR virtual reality. Uh, VR v frying pan. Let's go. VP. Um, VP. I've got an important announcement to make. Um, I believe the chat might be able to answer Mezzo's question. I've <gasps> just been DM'd by him on Steam. He wants to know how does he spy crab on Scout? Does anybody know? Uh, you have to bring out your disguise PD. Oh wait, hang. 
as a scout. Yeah. He wants to know. Is that a is that a thing? Well, um, well, <laughs> we, we, we maybe we can just make it a thing. Well, maybe. May- perhaps if you perhaps if look you up just, and like, call then mouse one. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Hang on, oh, what okay. if, what, hang on. What if you look up like you, like you you like bind your mouse wheel to your weapon switch, and then you keep pulling out like your milk and your and your pan. Maybe that works. I'm not sure. Like, I don't, what I want to know is, why does he want to know this? Is it just like the spy main seeping through? I want to know why you're enabling him. To be honest, that's it's too much. <laughs> well, he, he well he, yeah. he asked Step me a away. question. No, no, that's a genuine question. question. He asked no, me a genuine question. question. I had to, I, I had to help my friend. Right, it is, it is a good question. Like, that, Jaylee, I, I want to know the answer to this. This is, this is very uh, intricate. We need to know. If we we'll learn an nothing answer. else today, then then we'll learn how to spy crab on scout. <laughs> I mean, it's an I, achievement. As, as someone in the uh, stream chat, Alpha mentioned quite rightly, there is uh, demo lobsters. Yes. Why not uh, scout crustaceans? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe I mean, I mean, scout, Scout's but... got like the the octopus set, hasn't he, for his legs? Yeah, yeah. So true. we've got we, we've got the entire seafood with the octodad hat. Yeah, Put that yeah on the octodad hat as well. Like, we, like you know, Demo Man, Ooh. you know, we can do the lobster. Do you reckon we can get like an entire seafood lobster like uh, roster going on for? For both teams. Oh, uh, battle of the seafoods. That sounds. Mm. I'm actually you know kind what, of I'm, hungry. Yeah, I'm thinking of hunger as well because, like, I'm thinking of combining with a pan a bit of oil. Um, just get egg sign in here, and, and he'll teach mm. us how to to make the perfect uh, no, seafood. That's the thing you kick your scouts. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> wow. You want them fresh and screaming. Bite, like, I know that one team is called the Science of the Pans, but there's no need to bring Dr. Lecter into this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It, it well, had to be said, man. Come on. Well, uh... Everything, everything tastes better with a good bit of Chianti. Um, well, we are finally <laughs> on product. Um, let's actually talk about the, the game rather than seafood, even though it is a very interesting subject. I mean, what is there to talk about except for this is pans? Pan, pa, pans. It's pans, labyrinths, map pick. In the okay, given it's their map pick, does that mean that they've got some secret strat that will put them um, ahead? I agree. That you know what the secret strat is. Uh, it's you know, it, is it you know, confidence? You know, yeah, the confidence. But you know how the middle point is got these strange slopes to it. Right. The secret strategy is a splash boat on those slopes. What you know, you, like you know, you know how you can get splash bugs on rockets and walls. Yeah. Well, that can also happen with Gerati and Mad Milk. If they hit, if you hit the wrong part of these hills and someone's standing in the right space, they won't get milked, even if it's like right I've next to them. I actually had that playing casual. Yeah. Like whenever I've been scout with the Mad Milk, like half the half the team's not getting soaked in milk because yeah. of that, and it's really a, annoying. And now I'm angry mm. that you mentioned it. Like so, I have so, seething rage right now. So Pan's Labyrinths, like, one of their main... They are reading up, actually. Like, I think their strategy for, like, all this season has been to put Gilgar in first as a sort of... Oh, not reading up, it was a fake. But Gilgar was... Gilgar was sort of the the lemming who would go in and try and get as many Pan hits as possible. And his team would follow up. But the problem is, is that when you have that Mad Milk, any damage that he does to players, like... That's, like, one downside of being a tanky class in this thing. Because you take so long to die, you can tank four Pan hits. So if you say even if you got four pan hits off, that is a potential for all of them to then heal up that damage, like most of it. And it doesn't matter if it's forty three or sixty five. To like you know, if you have more than sixty five health, you take another pan hit to die. There's nothing. There's no hit scan. There's no afterburn. There's no yeah. like. There's nothing in between. So that's like why the milk is so powerful. And when you have all of this going on. It's uh, very difficult, but with these splash bugs happening, it will be a lot harder for Silence to utilize their superior milk DM. So Pan's Labyrinth will be trying to come in in force with their potentially superior Odin DM. So we see what goes on in this first mid fight. As you oh, called it, there goes Gilga. Deep and hard into the action. Oh. Uh, but it's Hoy that's really uh, got first blood, I think. Yeah, the first uh, pan hit has been uh, taken out, as uh, we currently are seeing Silence just swarming around the point, seeing if they can uh, get any cap time at all going on here. Uh, Liko is down to 25 health, so we'll not be fighting for it. Look at the health on Silence, but actually they are taking it back, they are clawing back the health of uh, the health disadvantage they have, and Hoy is in all sorts of trouble. Mezzo will take him down with 2k on this mid-fight. 
Liko is back in, but look at the superior cap time for Pan's Labyrinth. That's going to waste a lot of the time for silence. Odin and Yellow are still alive here, still causing an annoyance as the milks are thrown in uh, response to the aggression from silence, but nothing will come of it just yet. The cap eventually goes in the favour of silence of the Pans. Yeah, surely due to the fact that uh, those survivors uh, yeah, just, just backed out. Presence. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, if it's if the right thing to do, but it's but it's still it's, it's frustrating to to see. Oh yeah, but you want to keep your scouts alive for the next fight, just so you can get those milks. So, and look at the aggression from Simon. They're just walking in. Both milks have been thrown, I think, from both teams in the end there. And Hoy was just like sat on his perch on the high ground there, and it, actually his plan hasn't quite worked out as he wanted to. As the you know, currently the only person who's healthy on the side of Pan's Labyrinth is Odin. Who is currently trying to take out Jackie Legs on the flank here. Hoy is back in trying to see if he can cause anything. Odin has taken a pound on the point though, so that will be his cue to, to back off. He has got no milk to sustain himself in this fight right now. The regroup is happening on Cliff though for Pan's Labyrinth, so we'll see if they can get back in the, the fray on the control point here. Looks like they're pushing in now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they, they, they are walking forward. <laughs> it's, it's difficult, it's Pan. Like, you don't really know what's happening until people start dying. Just because, like, the, the, there's there's no, like, different classes. There's, like, different things that some people can do. But... <laughs> Scout run fast. That one soldier can jump. Yeah. That's about it. It's just, like, it's just stripped down TF2. Like, it's, it's not like, oh, there's no Uber charge. There's no snipers or engineers or spies or anything. It's just your... Battalions, actually. Jackie Legs has battalions out, but he's getting focused down. He's only got two people in the fight. He does actually jump over oh. the rock. Might have to sacrifice... Was that an air shot pan? I think it was. Did Hoy just get airshot by a frying I pan? I think he did. B, oh, is, is, oh, you see, oh. Does that even count? Are you allowed to do I, that? You, it, uh, it does count. Is that even it, legal? Yeah, it, oh, no one has ever done that before. But yeah, it, it, I, I just wish it was an airshot in logs, you know? I want my pan airshots. Then again, I was also lobbying for the heavy's minigun to count as airshots, so maybe people shouldn't listen to me. No, I, 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 I stopped listening like half an hour ago. <laughs> Don't I'm not even sure I'm present. here, so... <laughs> oh, just look at, look at the carnage on the mid-fight. Silence just got reverse sweeps. Like, completely. Just... They, they lost the point and they lost everybody afterwards. Is reverse sweeps a thing? Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it's yeah. like sweeping but in reverse. You pull yeah. the dirt from out under the rug. It's like, you know, like when you when you rewind a VHS and it sort of goes like all like funny and shaky? It's just like that. I think you've just shown your age, because there's a lot of people who don't know what a VHS is. I'm a boomer, you know? Oh, okay, Boomer. Welcome to the Boomer Club. Yep. <laughs> Can we start a TF2 I Boomer mean, support don't... group, please? <laughs> it's okay. The land of the firm handshakes. <laughs> the land of the eye contact. Oh, yeah. And pulling our bootstraps up by ourselves. By our teeth. Right, by the skin good. on our chinny chin chin. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Okay, Granddad. Well, uh, we, well, we, we fight happening on the right side here. Oh, Odin! Like, Dad. eliminating Jackie Legs from the surfer. I thought there was an Uber charge there for a second, but it was just like a milk being thrown. Like, it's... You expect ah, yes. an Uber charge I from Cliff. I mistake mad milk for Uber charge. You, you, you just think there's an Uber charge on Cliff, but then it just isn't because there's, there's no Uber charge. I, I honestly, like, this, this is much more streamlined, like, to play because you're focusing on hitting people. Like, just watching it, like... It's it's much much more difficult to follow. I promise I mean, you. Once, once you're in the game, at, at I've, least I've, we're not commentating uh, CTF. Yeah, I mean, I've it's fine. I've, I've you can you, you can oh, trust me. No, I, we just had in our ear there a magic against CTF pad only. Oh, oh god! Well, uh, cause I, uh, oh. I, no, no, only the scouts could cap because of the jumper weapons. You can't carry the intel. Oh! But, but it, we'd have to like have pirate jetpacks and waddle soldiers. I want to see this <laughs> now. Soldiers. Right, okay, uh, um, right. right. Umbra and Derpy <laughs> Sage, the head admins of Razor D Pan. He heed our call. CTF Pan next season and SD Doomsday while you're at it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no. You can trust what? me, I've played in what two Razor D Pan destruction? grand finals. Bring player destruction into it. We need some player destruction. I think there's a lot of player destruction going on right now, Bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, I mean the game mode where you pick up the, the, the stuff. Well, yeah, but like, no one's heard of that in since the, like 2004. Sod player destruction. There was absolute team destruction in that last uh, the last few moments there. <laughs> like silence just completely outclassed them in that last fight. Like they like, Pan's Labyrinth had the player advantage for all of half a second, and then they were just clumped on by silence. 
despite that shaky start, like they've, they've, they've come back. I think science on this product map. Yeah, I think a lot of it is uh, a lot of the momentum, uh, particularly for, for for this particular type of style of play, is is decided in the first uh, the outcome of the first uh, interaction. Um, oh and yeah. For a long time, that win has, has fallen on the shoulders of the science of the pants. Yeah, it but, may uh, not but, be the case this time. Yeah, this time, Pan's Labyrinth has taken it. Absolutely. Like, the thing is, with like um, Pan, it's as I said, it's it's just like it's so quick for things to to happen. But I think it's really like representative of more TF2 as a whole because the at high level Pan's such <laughs> as much as I love to say it, at high level Pan's such as this, the team that wastes their milk will usually lose. You know, the team that gets the worst milk off will probably win, like lose the fight at that point. You know, that's like that's so similar to like the medic catching a pipe in like Sixes or Highlander, or just a spy getting away with something that you shouldn't do, or just someone being out of position getting sniped or something. It's just simplified and streamlined into some throwable items, a thing that takes 10 pan hits to charge, and giant jumper weapons, and you know. It I just had the a end. terrible Oh no, it's idea. the it's the some, point standoff. Uh, if I can interrupt, so there's been some fancy footwork on actual points. Um, both teams ha leaving a foot on the point, not wanting mm. to to give an inch. That is actually but not actually engaging. Yeah, that, like honestly, like you have the distance, you have the entire point to work with. Why why engage when you can just like delay and wait for your respective teams? It, it's 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 like a little standoff. I like it. I mean, it has flipped over, but that was a, a cool minute uh, of, of capture time. Uh, possibly the longest time that Pan's actually had uh, un, unabused uh, by Science of the Pan's. So, uh, is this a turnaround? Uh, I mean, obviously they've, they've lost the point, but uh, is, is there an opening? Well, also an Odin, though, and Hoy going down instantly. Like, Auto tried to jump onto the Pride Rock, but then beat on his number and jumped straight out to him. And this, if Yellow gets caught here, this is a full wipe for Pan's Labyrinth. But he gets some cap time on his way out, so all is not lost with this follow-up. But again, like not a single player died for silence. I I, I dare say that like that that windfall that came in the, the favour of Pan's Labyrinth has been met with a panoply of silence dominance. Oh, I'm not sure panoply is. Well, to Google that. Well, well, we know. Isn't a panoply like a, a suit of armor, or is it? Or is a pan? Or no, a panoply is like a. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking of words that have pan in, and just making it up as I go along, basically. Panola. Hmm. Hmm. Also, I had a terrible idea. Imagine ready to say pan, but you're playing Pelodri's Desert Bus. I've, I've never seen this map, but now I want to. It is. Oh, oh yeah. or a wacky races too. Oh, I love wacky races too. That's a great map. Ready to yeah. yeah. I, I'm a big man. I I can admit when I'm wrong. Panoply is a splendid display. You had it in oh, exactly yes. the right use. Uh, in my mind, it would only ever be a version of of, of the 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 game Monopoly, but played uh, with with pans. Yeah, yeah of no, course. I ha I have Monopoly. Monopoly mixed up with the other pan word, which I have currently forgotten. Pandemonia. Right. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 we just said paneer as well. You know? It's a pan. <laughs> <laughs> pan, the word you forgot. Pan. Pan, pan, pan is the word that everyone has forgotten today. Was I was we, I wrong in thinking that it, it's an alternative to pan is ham? Um, that, no, ham is in fact banned. Uh, pan, pan ha versus ham, ham is banned. Thing. Um, well, for, for some reason, there's like a rule that says you can. If the item servers are down, you can use a like a stock, like a fire axe, or a bat, or a bottle, or a shovel, but you can't use the ham because it, this is only the pan. Wow. Okay. It's because the ham is seen as inferior to the pan by these people. I mean, there have been multiple like longitudinal studies about which item random crits more, but that's irrelevant here. This is competitive frying pan where no random crits are allowed. I don't see the competitive ham seen anywhere, do you? I'm thinking that there's there's an opening here for there's, there's, there's a, a possibility. Of, I, I think we should introduce like a Highlander version, but ham only. Just call yeah. it Hamlander. Exactly. Or no, we could uh, deal up more to uh, Ready City Pan, Ready City Ham. No, High Hamper. It's perfect. High Hamper. Is yeah. it? <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 just I'm just reminded of like the bacon vines. Like the, 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 like the, it, is it? the, the is High it? I Mean Heavy and High Lamper. Just, is uh, it perfect? It's all—it's almost whoa, perfect. Whoa, 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 Gilga, 
has gone sniper. So we can Ooh, expect to see some coming out. We have a flex roll. We got, we got, we got the Jurate coming out from Gilga. He's out enough of his point play. It's a big, that. it's a big spray coming out here on the point. <laughs> four pan play. Four silence players are covered <laughs> in urine. Four of a spray them when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> bit, Jesus. Bit, bit, bit of splash back off the uh, concrete there, but <laughs> <laughs> it would seem that silence have actually. They, look, this might have worked. It's just Jackie Legs left alive, and he's been he's been taken down. Woody Crater, Woody Crater. No, he landed on the health pack. Jackie oh, Legs will live to fight another day. But apparently, that the piss was was it all along the flex coming out from Gilga here, taking on that flex role that we have seen the first off class of this grand finals, and not a moment too soon. That piss is going in their favour big time. But that time it did miss. We only got uh, one player with a Girati on them. And, it, and again, and that's, that's like, died to that, yeah, player that is as well. the downside. Of, like the reason why Sniper isn't played is because, well, one, he he has piss, and then he's a slow scout. Um, and on top of and, that, their soldier, yeah, should yeah. surely have his uh, oh, yeah, like, backup ready as well. Yeah, but you have battalions as well that you can potentially pop, but and that'll be two rounds of silence. Uh, battalions is uh, allowed apparently. Um, our conscious, oh sorry, yeah, we are just in my ear again. Conch is in fact banned, so. Is that, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that conscious, conscious ban. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. how dare you read yeah. the information? Yeah, conch, conch is banned just because of the... Uh, it takes 120 less damage to charge it, and also, like, speed boost and health regen in frying pan. Can I like, just say, where the heck did it all come from there? I'm just, we're just expecting the, the scout there, then, then all oh, just out of nowhere from the heavens rain hell from above well, of his pan. Absolutely well, domes him. It's just, it's, just, it's just the headshot pan yet again. Like, what, just, what can you do? It's beautiful. All what I can you do, do about is pan it. sounds. I'm, I'm still sad that we haven't seen a pyro yet because, you know, I'm, I am the connoisseur of the jetpack pyro in this silly format when my graphics card is working. But uh, <laughs> sadly, uh, you know, there's been no pyros today. There's been no rocket pack stomps on the point. You know, that's what I live for in this format. Odin loses a 1v1 to Mezzo. Mezzo is just, like, Mezzo is currently outscoring Odin. The best Damn. melee player in, like, ever. Sanjay, here we are. He's losing his throne here. He needs to do something. Yeah, I mean... You know, silence, oh, may, like... Oh. May, may, maybe they're just oh, showing why... Oh, versus two. We, oh, and it's a Malcolm. Two scouts there. He's pulling back. His teammates are coming to help. See, that's why scout's better than sniper. Sniper would die there instantly. <laughs> like... You just force the piss out from the sniper, and then you win. It's hilarious. <laughs> Like the worst up appointment ever. Yeah, like there's a few uh, interesting, <laughs> a, a, few, a, few, a few interesting <laughs> images come to mind, which uh, I don't think oh, are really no. safe for the Ready City Pan format. I don't know if it's the one that I'm thinking of that involves a jar. Oh, let's let's, let's compare notes afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation yeah, we'll to one side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's just, let, let's, just uh, let's put a pin in that and. Uh, <laughs> See what happens on the control point here. Bees at 43. Shredder, to be oh, the look, see, it doesn't matter what health you are if you've got battalions, because you have battalions and milk, and then, like, their push is over. <laughs> like, I'm sorry to say, but, you, like, if, if the enemy team pops battalions... Oh, we just got hit out there again. Oh, we've got the second pan air shot of the evening. Oh, delightful. I think that's the third, actually, is it not? I've lost count at this point. Man, I can't count past three either, don't worry, buddy. Oh, I, I know some people that can't count past three. No, now you know another it's one. Some moments of silence for, for things that should have been silence for those of us that can't count past three. Just, just, uh, just bow our heads in uh, in memoriam of what could have been. There's a single tear rolling down my cheek. <laughs> and silence right now. Are, they've used both their battalions to keep this point, but they have like 40 seconds left with no cap time for Pan's Labyrinth. They are 40 seconds away from being free time, a hat trick of Ready City Pan champions. And that's in a row as well. And that, I think, I believe that would make them the most successful Pan team in Europe and North America ever. Combined. Hmm. But, yeah. you know, Pan's Labyrinth got something to say about that as a 2k comes out from the demo man, the scout, a 3k onto bees. Hoy is the only casualty of that fight. Auto is respawning. But Yahoo is getting focused down by Odin in yellow, and right there, times four, times five on the cap. And that will force like, overtime not to occur. I mean, we haven't had it just yet today, but Razor Pan is, I believe, quite notorious for its overtime. 
and it lasts about 30 seconds apiece if it's timed correctly with your respawns, because you can just keep sticky jumping to the point, doing all sorts of shenanigans and funny things. Which is one reason why I think Pan's Lab Print banned Trainsaw Laser before this, so you can't just skybox leap to the point. But hoy, <laughs> was that another air shot? Laser. I think it was again, yeah. You print that's four. <laughs> And look at that, the cat time's already been forced. They're down a player. Milks have been thrown. Auto Zed as well. It's do or die here for the side of Pan's Labyrinth. Bees has been taken down. That is an error man down. So that's a big chunk of health out of the side of the. But Odin! Odin has been taken down now. And it's up to, you know, just. Is it Gilga who's stuck in here? It is. He gets taken out at the end. And it's only four seconds left on the point. Can anyone get on the point for Pan's Labyrinth? We have the Demon Man coming and flying over the point. Oh, but I don't think he's got enough time, health. Not enough. Oh, and his sweep. That will be it. That will be a Frio sweep for Science of the Pans on just an absolutely phenomenal display on this Grand Finals. Free time Ready City Pan champions. Yeah, it's so yeah. easy to get distracted by the conversation because there's so many things to talk about in the world of uh, Pans and uh, uh, Extra Solar. I think uh, I can definitely say that you were possibly the most knowledgeable. Uh, was this result in any way a surprise to you? Oh, I thought it'd be way closer. Like the the last, like I mean, you were here last season with Grand Finals Agro. I mean, last season it was these pretty much these exact teams just with like two different players on Odin's team. Maybe even just one different player, and that was, I believe, it was it was three two, three one, three two. On it went went down to the last round on Asheville for the for the title, and to see such a, a sweep is really like it's unbecoming of you know Odin teams in this format. You know, last season I think was a like one of the most hard fought pan matches as it were, as it would be in the in the delicate history of this prestigious competition. So what went wrong but, now? I, th I I think honestly it was just the like the grouping. It was the grouping and the milks and the team fights that just killed it for them. And the fact that they would try and send a soldier or demo man in, and he would get instantly mulched, and then there'd be a play down for the team fight. Silence just played around this perfectly, and were able to just group up and could, like they would. And because they're a player up, they can conserve yep. one milk for the fight, and that just went to their favor constantly. And that and then Pan's Labyrinth had no answer to it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think yeah. We're gonna... Yep. Yeah. I think uh, I'm going to switch over to logs. Logs now. and interviews? I do. I do. I hear in my ear. Maybe. Maybe we got something uh, to look forward no, to. Certainly, no, no, uh, no, logs. Are pan Don't interviews. Worry. Pan interviews. That's the first. Pan interviews. Pan interviews. Pan interviews. Pan to mine. Pan interviews. Pan at mine. Yeah. Perfect. No, they'd, they'd have to be miming then, and that doesn't work so good on audio. No, no, not that kind of pan at mine. The one where it's like he's behind you, so <laughs> he gets panned. Oh, look, Liko living up to his reputation as I bestowed upon him in pre-game. 23 and 6 on the soldier class. Yeah, Odin definitely mm. showing class, though. Uh, 20, oh, uh, Odin 20. again, like, you can't fault this man if, with his pan gameplay. He is just, like, an absolute lord of the frying pan. No one can stop this man. And to, you'd, you'd need, like, an entire team to take this person down. It's, like, ridiculous. I think it's worth mm. worth putting in here. Like we always talk about the kills because kills, are like naturally, who actually got final blow in, who who did them, who was responsible for the most deaths. But actually, uh, it's the damage that I find more interesting. Uh, where where Liko, as you say, is is the beast uh, getting in a massive uh, five thousand, well, close to six k, mm. um, and and the rest of his team following up. So there's a lot of damage being done. Uh, What's always amazing with Liko is his ability to just. Always bottom death, <laughs> like like no matter what. A lot of yeah, the time, like what's up? Like he gets top kills. Oh, and so much. Always bottom death. It's just uh, kind what? of weird. What? Never understood that. Uh, but doing interviews now, apparently, as we do have, uh, you know, we have uh, who do we have? We have Gilga and Jackie Legs in so far. We have Gilga from Pan's Labyrinth and Jackie Legs from the Science of the Pans. Uh, first of all, commiserations to Pan's Labyrinth for your uh, unfortunate, untimely defeat in the Grand Finals. And congratulations to Science of the Pans. We have, again, Jackie Legs here. I'd like to put my first question to Jackie Legs. What were your thoughts going into these playoffs? So, listen, man. Playoffs were was a big... Like, we had some strategy going in. We did some uh, map talks. We were ready. <laughs> like, we knew what, what setup. We knew what setup. We knew what hats we should use. What well, uh, hats, because, especially? Yeah, because you have yeah. to match the hats because then you can't call... Team Fortress 2. Yeah, yeah the I, soldier, I, I soldier with you. an usual head. Soldier with yeah. an usual head. You can't call that anymore because everybody yeah. with the same hats. I saw you so, and Nico wearing the megaphone hats. I think that yeah, was... Yeah, I was that wearing was it as well. My mind game was, was giving out. Some, some slurs, maybe. Some 
something nice, some slurs. So, no, you know, some, so, so, so something's some, nice, but also some something, naughty words yeah, that we can't yeah, repeat here. Nobody, nobody can hear that. It's all in, in the soldier's head, you know? So it's everything's yeah. okay. And yeah, we were confident going to this playoffs and, you know, bring home the bread, bring home the gold. Let's go. So uh, did, did the synergy improve, would you say, by bringing uh, Yahoo and Mezzo in with you? Like you had basically half of SECK on the team just then. Yes, this is true. Yes, this is true. The yes, the so the, synergy, map, the map talks came in. Yes, sir. The synergy. Yeah, map. Now, now Yahoo, excuse him. He's not known for his big brain. You know, <laughs> he's, uh, he's known for a little bit something else there. Uh, maybe not Yahoo so much for the synergy. Yeah, he's there for the. Uh, you know, he's, 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 he's the beat. Stick. He's there for moral support. Yeah, he's there for. Uh, to, to frag. He's the goat. Pyro. Everybody knows him. You know, he knows his melee power jack. You know, a frying pan doesn't matter what it is. He's the goat. So shout out to you. Who and uh, Mezzo is a, is a spi. So yeah. spi is me, and he wins. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Just shout out to Yahoo, Goat Demo Man, and shout out to Mezzo, who unfortunately cannot spy crab on Scout. We can confirm now. The f- match I'm is kind of over. Disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed I am as well. That. I want to see a, a Scout spy crab. But uh, anyway, on to some things for Gilga. Gilga, like, what went wrong? Like, I was, we were expecting like a repeat of last season's final with like the going down right to the wire. Like, we simply outclass in team fights or or milks or, or what happened in the end. Um. Our coordination felt pretty poor. Even if you look at uh, the semi-finals or whatever um, our previous game was referred to as, um, it would be called for us to just play off of a number of advantages, not to chase. And we had certain strats, but um, I don't. Know, I think we really did just get outclassed today and outplayed. Yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty tough for you now, feeling a little bit uh, almost as if this game has been stolen from you. Um, not just for one year, uh, but for two years. Uh, Will you be coming in for season six? Uh, and if you do, are you going to have the same team? Unlikely. Um, last season, it wasn't that much of a serious thing. I know it was somebody else leading the team. I was actually cut during week two for not taking it seriously enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that was an experience. Taking Pan seriously? Okay. Yeah. Well, I like um, well, that sorry, was by our leader. Ball. Our old leader, who um, I believe was Hisui. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. But he doesn't own a mic, so that was oh. quite problematic throughout the season. Well, um, I, I don't know. Like we, you know, we can, you can make it work. Divi is that did mute. he say language? Yeah, yeah. We he, tried to make it work. Did he put his think, hand up? If he wasn't if he wasn't ready to play. I don't know. It just felt <laughs> detrimental to our play at times. It was probably part of a reason our coordination wasn't quite as hmm. good as it could have been. Especially if you're not used to it either. I mean, like Silence have had like basically two full seasons to work around Divi's uh, lack of mouth movements in game. Um, I believe the only time that I have heard Divi speak in Razor City Pan was when CP Warmfrost was put in the rotation, and uh, we had some slurs, which basically amounted to, what is this map and why are we playing it? Hmm. Um, so you know the map is pretty bad for the format when, when Divi is, is complaining about it. Right. But, you know, that's just a little anecdote. Basically, the long story like short is, Divi doesn't talk. I see Mm. I mean, he's been, he's been good throughout the season. He always seemed to play a sort of support scout. He would just be surviving yeah. and milking everyone. Oh, he play, he's, he's just like the scout equivalent to Liko. Yeah. Like, now, now, I do have a very important question for both of you, okay? What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Mine? Nut. Ooh, okay, good choice. I love, I love nut milk. I love Wait. the nut juice. You like, you like, you like, you like a good bit of nut, do you? Okay. Nut. Just, just, just yeah. any kind of nut. Jack, 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 or... Jackie no. likes any, any kind of nut. Just... Any kind of nut, regardless of the no. source. <laughs> nut. 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 So, nut. so, Jackie, so yeah, more of a more of a salted got, nut. What, what flavor nut is it? Is it pistachios or is it? Would you like a salted peanut or? Nut, nut, with all, nut, with all nut, nut, just nut, just nut, nut, uh, what, nut, what about you just nut, nut. Sure, uh, Jackie Lex is a nut flavor. connoisseur after all. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Gilga? What's your, uh, what's your favourite ice cream flavour? Um, I mean, I've got a strawberry shortcake haagen in the fridge that I do intend oh. to consume shortly. See, that's too long. Oh, yeah, as, you, as you cry into it because you're lost, is it? Ooh, um, that's that's it. Oh, 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 sick burns. Oh. I think if I'd really cared about winning this, I would have perhaps pulled an extra solar and taken myself off the team and put somebody better onto the team. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. oh, shit. oh shit. It's fire! It's fire! Oh, I love it. I love it. 
Ooh, boy. Ooh. Well, Gilgit, it's not my fault that I was in America chasing women and my GPU caught on fire. So God, well, I'm, 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 I'm just going to leave that, that with Gilgit. you. Yo, I'm sorry, go. are you saying chasing women is better than TF2? Get it. Oh, I know. I, I made a horrible I just, mistake. I'm just wondering how chasing women made your graphics card burn up. But there we go. Um, it's, hey, it's an interesting check story, out my graphics card. Look what I've got. <laughs> RTX 2080! Oh shit, I just dropped it my coffee. Fuck. Uh, hey, no cursing. Family hmm. show, yeah? Sorry. Okay, keep going. Wait, wait <laughs> is, is Jackie Lake <laughs> telling you to stop cursing on the screen? I didn't curse. I didn't yeah, I, I know, wow. but it's, it's just a change of pace from our usual. Hey, 2020, new me, new me, new me. New Year's resolution from Jackie Lakes. Shout out to me, <laughs> shout out to me. <laughs> well, we're going to go on the shout outs now. Yeah, so. Right, so first of all, can we get some shout outs from. We'll go in alphabetical order starting with players, so kill get any shout outs. Um, I guess just shout out to my team, like for giving it their best. Um we had some good times. And uh yeah, I don't know. I think this is the end of uh, panning for me. I've never been the best at it, but today was pretty it's... miserable for me. You I hang like up I your pan. Getting too emotional for me. Going Jesus. out to pasture. <laughs> I don't know. Um he's got a like great don't pan do... monument in the sky. Shout out to my team anyways. We gave it our best. And uh, right. good games. We just got outplayed, ultimately. Okay. Uh, any shout-outs from Sir Jackie Lakes himself? Yes, sir. Shout-out to VTooth, the one and only. The man, the champ. Mm. Love you, my dude. Love you. You're tall. You're beautiful. You ca- you uh, produce games. You do everything for this for the scene. I love you, man. And uh, shout-out to Extra Solar for allowing me to play and win. Uh, ready, steady, pan. Let's go. Easy medals. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 well, thanks very much, Shacky Legs, for no that problem. inspirational series of words. Um, no can we go for any shout-outs from Agro today? Oh, Christ, how do I follow up that? Um, yeah, obviously, shout-out to Weehoo for being just an awesome person. Um, genuinely, all the things that Jackie Legs kind of said in, in fun and humour, I feel in my heart every moment of every waking second of, of existence. So, Freehoofed, you are, you are a gorgeous genius of Team Fortress 2, without whom there would be no competitive. Okay, um, we'll go into. Uh, I think we'll go for Byte next because B does indeed follow A. I am reading that correctly. Does it? Yeah, I've just been. I just finished my alphabet uh, training. Oh, that's incredible! Wow, you're, you're, I think you're two classes ahead of me. Uh, so shout out to you for finishing your alphabet class. Thanks, uh, buddy. Shout out to me for actually getting out of bed at about uh, five p.m. Mm. And. <laughs> Shout out Good to Ready Steady Pan for running this this whole thing, and of course, just like the previous two people, shout out to Vita for running this specific stream, running all the stuff in the background. Uh, a lot of this wouldn't happen without him, and shout out to everyone that's participated as well. All right, uh, I want to start with a shout out to everyone who has been playing or casting in today's game. You're oh, wonderful watching. people. Uh, thank you very much for having an enjoyable experience. I will give a shout out to myself for sobering up in time for the actual stream. Um, I give a shout out to Jim well, Vickers. That would have been interesting. Oh yeah, that would have been a very different uh, story <laughs> if that happened. Shout out to Jim Vickers for being the greatest TF2 player of all time. I will give a shout out to McLean for being the best pyro of all time. Shout out to Division Dysphoria, Signs of the Pans, of course, uh, Police Squad, uh, The Spy. And Colchester United FC. Okay. And yeah, with that get out of here. exciting <laughs> uh, revelation in mind, I think it's time to call it quits for everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you happen to be catching this on YouTube sometime in the near future, please remember to like and subscribe and do all those things. Yes, that's right. We actually have a sodding YouTube channel. Who'd have thought? Um, but for you everyone here it. who is watching live in real time, thank you so much for being here. You're absolutely wonderful humans. And uh, yeah, cheers and good night, everyone. Hi, old beaver. Away!